What is going on everyone? My name is Ricky and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now if you're new at this channel guys, it would mean a hell of a lot to me if you could click that subscribe button with notifications on. I post all the amazing tips and tricks and montages and things like that. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in whatsoever, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. So if you don't have the best of PCs and you get a lot of performance issues in Fortnite, for instance buildings won't load in, trees won't load in, you can't even open the doors because it's just like a big blur. You can't even see weapons or guns on the floor. Um, then do not click off this video, guys. I'm definitely going to help you out with that problem. So in this clip right here, you'll see me landing at Lazy and um, all the buildings were blurry literally until the last second. And even items, if you look carefully, they're still slightly blurry. Um, and when I actually pick up weapons as well, in my inventory, there's no gun. There's no picture of it, if you can see there. So that's like a sign that you're lagging a lot and unfortunately you're not going to be able to do a lot against someone that's not lagging. So um, here's a little fix for you guys but first I'm going to show you the fix first and how it performs now just so you can see proof before we get into the tutorial. I don't want you guys just to keep you know, skipping to the end and stuff. Um, so I'll show you the proof now guys but let me tell you how this is going to work. So all these people upload YouTube videos and tutorials about changing about a million different settings to try and get your game to get a hundred more FPS and things like this guys. They are literally all fake, I promise you. The only 100 million percent way to legitimately get a lot, lot more FPS is by getting a lot new parts for your PC. Um, so they're all lies guys, so don't really listen to a lot of them. I have seen a few and some things do work, for instance the priority, if you go into your task manager, I'm not showing you in this video, but if you go into the task manager and right click on Fortnite and click go to details and then right click it again, it will say set priority and then you can set it to high and then what it does, it sort of sends all the power and stuff uh, to that game basically and it will help it perform a slight bit better. But unfortunately, if you're like me and like many others and you don't have a very good PC, I'll leave my specs down below in the description as well so you can see what I have, so you can sort of roughly compare yourselves. Um, so yeah, if you don't have the best of PCs, um, then this is definitely going to help. So the way it works is you need to cap your FPS at a certain point. So what you need to do is you need to go into a few different games um, and you need to look at your FPS at the top and you need to find the number that you never see it go below. Now, for instance, mine is roughly 85. I went into loads of games and I was noticing that my FPS weren't really dropping below 85. And at the time, I had it capped to about 120. So, what was happening is, is I was landing and stuff and the game was trying to load in 120 FPS a second. But my PC couldn't keep up with that. So, in return, it basically just blurred out images, buildings, trees, things like this on the map. Um, you know, to try and keep up with itself. Um... So, and with that, you're obviously going to lag quite a lot. So, in this clip right here, you'll see that my FPS is capped. Um, if you look at the top there, it's capped to 85 FPS, which is not a lot. Um, it is absolutely terrible. It's only 25 more FPS than what you are playing on, like, a PS4 or an Xbox One. Um, so, it's not great, but it is obviously still a slight bit better. Um, but, yeah, so... You'll see in this clip here that all the graphics load in way before I get there and stuff. I have all my settings set to low and my view distance and stuff. So they're only going to like render in when I get there. But as soon as I get there, they're rendering straight away. I'm not lagging. I'm not jolty. I don't like it just feels a lot smoother. Um, so what you guys need to do is find your spot where your PC can perform at its best. But just before there because you don't want to make it perform too hard because then that's what's going to make like all the things blur out and you'll lag and stuff and you're just going to get shit on basically every time that you see a, like an opponent is but yeah right anyway so moving on i'm going to show you how to do it now um unfortunately um some of you may be able to just do this setting like on the actual game itself fortnite has a few different fps's uh like they like, that you can cap it to on the game but um, if you're like me and you need an absolutely custom one then uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now so all you want to do is press your start button um, and R at the same time and it's going to bring up a little box if you don't want to do that then you can just type it in type in run and it's going to come up and then in that box type in percent app data percent guys and then what you're going to want to do from there is click on app data and then you're going to want to click on local and then make sure you find Fortnite game not epic make sure it says Fortnite game um, and then just double click on there, click saved, and then you're going to want to click on config, and then Windows client finally. 
And then once you're in here, there's a setting called like game user settings or something like that. What you want to do before you actually open this file is make sure that there's no tick on read only. Um, you're going to want to make sure that that's untick and then click apply. And then you can then open up the game user settings. And then what you're going to want to do is find FPS. Now it's quite it's always close to the uh, like, to your resolution. So if you've ever played on a custom resolution, you might find it quite fast. But here it is here. Um, so as you can see, mine's 85. So for instance, if you want to play on 100 or you know whatever 90, etc., it is entirely up to you. Just make sure you play quite a few games and find that absolutely beautiful spot. Um, and then yeah, once you've done that, guys, just exit out of there and click save. And then make sure you right-click on this setting again and then retick read uh, like the read-only button.